Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So this is a very exciting video because I rescued four new white leghorns. One of them is going to a friend in a little bit. I don't actually know when we're actually gonna be able to give it back to her, but I had the opportunity to bring home four new production leghorns. And I kind of just wanna bring you through like their journey of recovery because they've, I don't know exactly where they came from, but they've been living in a cage their whole life. My guess is, um, or they're either in a kennel or cage free, which isn't exactly cage, which isn't exactly free range either. It's not. So if you're excited for this video of my new wet leghorn journey, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. And now let's go look at the chickens. So here are my wet leghorns. They obviously are not very pretty right now because they've lived in a cage with a ton of other chickens their whole entire lives, pretty much. They've probably never been outside. Their toenails are extremely long. Um, I don't know if you can see that or not. They laid an, One of them laid an egg, which is super nice. These ones are so flighty, they spilled their water. So I have to take care of that here. But I'm super happy to have this opportunity to rescue them because now I get to give them a good life, free range, in the sunshine, where they can get lots of exercise. Okay, so here, if you just heard my rooster, he is an awful crow. I don't know what's wrong with him. But anyway, so here is the setup and I've just got their food and their water. Oh, reverse that. Food and then water. So now I'm gonna go get the chickens. And my plan is too to sit with them a little bit before I put them out just so that they can kind of get used to being handled. Okay, so here is one of them. None of them have names yet, but I think I'm just gonna handle her out here. She's the best layer that I have right now um, from this, this, these new light horns. But like, look at her feet. I'm gonna trim these toenails up for you too, baby. Yeah, so these toenails here are probably another indication that she's never really been able to run around and play, kind of. So, I just have some cat nail trimmers here. I'm going to try and figure out how to do it with my left hand. Not left-handed, but um, I'm trying not to get too close to her base of her toenail, just because she um, has, there's like obviously blood in there. And... I can't see where the quick is, but I'm just gonna take like little snips off, just a little bit. I'm gonna leave it at like, okay. And she's being really good right now, actually. I'm surprised she's not like kicking or anything. So that's a good, that's a good thing here. Okay, so here are her toenails now that I finished. And then she's gonna scratch them down so they're not gonna be like so chunky kind of. But I'm gonna sit down with her a minute and just kind of handle her, handle her a little bit. Cause she is a little bit skittish. She's actually pretty well behaved when I was um, taking care of her toenails, which was kind of surprising cause I thought she'd be more jumpy. for about 10 minutes now and she's just been like this she's like a little a little child just like sleeping here and it's so so nice when you just get to sit down and she's probably never been handled like this before so I'm actually really surprised by her reaction but this just kind of it kind of makes you think about how many things these hens just like really need in their life and probably someone who can just sit down with them and love them is probably what they need right now. And she's just, she's just being super sweet here and just cuddling. She hasn't tried to fly or run away or anything. She's just, she's so nice. 
I'm gonna put her down in the pen now to see how she likes the grass and she'll check out the food and everything. There you go, baby. We'll see how her reaction is to this. So hopefully she enjoys it. So here's the second one. And she was pretty difficult to catch, but once I caught her, she was really good about letting me trim her nails. And she's just kind of chilling here now. So I think these leghorns are just very good about being handled and cared for, but they're kind of they're kind of jumpy still and so the second one here isn't quite as calm as the first. She's trembling a little bit and she's breathing harder. But she still hasn't tried to get away from me, which is really good. She's moved her legs like a little bit, trying to squirm, but she's just being such a good girl. And I'm really impressed with these leghorns right now. So I have handled them all now. And they're, for the most part, pretty skittish when I pick them up or when I'm trying to catch them. But after I pick them up, they're all just like so sweet and they're just letting me hold them. And it's so nice. Um, the first one that I held, um, she was the easiest one to hold and she would just sleep in my hands. But then the last one that I had was number one and she was the most skittish to pick up and she was always looking around as I was holding her. But already they've just kind of been sunbathing here. And I'm noticing with some of them, their combs are already getting a little bit redder, which is good because they're not supposed to have pink combs like that either. Two years ago, I got the opportunity to rescue some and that's one of them. And she looked exactly like um, the ones that I just brought home. So, oh, and there's another one back there. So, and here's another one right there. So they're all just beautiful, good looking birds and they lay so well now too. So it's just awesome to be able to bring home more to recover so that they look like that now. They're just, they're beautiful. See here, cause I'm just gonna demonstrate. If I put my hand in, they're especially, especially this one, that's number one. She's very, very jumpy, but um, yeah. They're not actually as flighty as they, well, <laughs> as they were a little bit ago, but it also might be because they're kind of calmed down a little bit after I held them, but yeah, we've got some work to do with them, but I think they're gonna make an awesome recovery and they're gonna be super happy soon. chickens um sorry I like literally never cry but I had gone to um the store because there's a rat that was in the coop and so I needed to get a trap for it and like you saw I had them all outside and it was like eight o'clock and I knew that there were like coyotes around and everything but I didn't think that they would come and I didn't think they would fly out and I should have told my mom that they were there and then then and so I came back and all the leghorns were out of the coop and I found, I found three of them and they, it took me a while to find the other one. I thought that they, I thought that I was only going to end up with like two more, but my favorite one I found feathers from all over the yard. And it's just, this is hard because, especially because it was like the first day that I had brought them home. And I had a better life for them. And if I thought about it earlier, then I, I could have prevented this from them. And so I really just feel bad that on their first night, especially they had to experience that. And at least I have these three. So I just feel bad for them because I think that what probably happened, because I don't think these chickens know how to fly because I didn't have a roof on them the whole entire day. So I think that what happened is that the coyote ran up to the coop or the pen and they all got scared and flew out and then that's when it got caught. Cause I all, I found them all like perfectly still in bushes. So I think that's what happened and it's just, it breaks my heart, honestly. Okay, so it is now 
the third day that I've had the Leghorns. I didn't record it all yesterday, but today they are going out into the coop because we have like a little brooder box out there for them. Okay, so here are the girls today. Um, as you can see, they're very skittish. Um, so I'm gonna be taking them outside today so that they can get out of this kennel and hopefully they'll be happier out there. how skittish they are. So. so there's the first one in there. And they've got their food and water. And now she can kind of meet the other chickens a little bit. So and they can look at each other. Just so then it might be, a, it's gonna be a little bit easier for when they actually move into um, the pen. So there's one of my other rescue like horns on the other side there. She's just kind of checking her out. So all three of them in here now. And the whitest one over there, that's number four. She's the most skittish of them. But um, the other two seem to be doing okay. Especially the first one that I put in. She's the most chill out of them that I have. Um, so we're just going to let them stay in here for the day. And look at all the hens that are over there. And I think that they'll enjoy being in here. And then later, I'll let them outside. Okay, so it is a little bit later now, and the Leghorns have just been chilling in here. Looks like there is one egg in here right now, and I have their pen set up outside now, so I'm gonna move them outside so that they can get some grass and chill, and then I am putting something on top of it this time so that they can't fly out. I don't want to go through a, a giant mess again, so. <laughs> okay. Now there is no more escaping, and I hope that my board fixes itself because it's a little bit bowed right now, but we're just gonna chill out here, get some grass. So guys, I think that is gonna be it for this video, just because I just kind of wanted to give you a little bit of a feel for like what I'm doing with my leghorns here. And then I am gonna be taking pictures of them and their progress as they're recovering. So I'll keep you guys posted on that. So if you enjoyed this video, please give a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.